Okay, what's going on everybody? My name is Mang. And today we are, uh, we're starting another journey. And that is the Dragon Quest journey. So, um, <clears throat> if there is one series that sort of, uh, embodies video game RPGs, it would be Final Fantasy, of course. That's what many people think of when they think of, uh, a video game RPG. Uh, and there's really not much that rivals that series. But if there was, if there was a rival series, it would be Dragon Quest, I would say. Uh, the 11th game in the main series just came out uh, somewhat recently. This series has been going on since like 86. So around the same time as Final Fantasy, it's been ticking. It never hit the heights of popularity that Final Fantasy did, uh, but it's still going. And the most recent game got really good reviews from what I hear. Um, so they're doing all right for themselves. It's a fairly popular series, uh, especially over in Japan, I guess. And so, you know, I decided... Why not uh, keep the RPG <laughs> series playthroughs going um, and do some Dragon Quest? Really, I'm just bored and I want to play something, so I'm just going to record this. And in a couple of years, you'll get to see it. Um, so, I have played one Dragon Quest game before. In my life, that is the first one. Uh, we owned the first one on NES. It was called Dragon Warrior uh, over in America. I don't know how many games they called Dragon Warrior over here. Maybe the first three or, or something like that. Um, so I knew this series as Dragon Warrior. Um, I think the only reason we owned Dragon Warrior on the NES was because of the cool cover cool cover art it had like a badass dragon artwork it was really cool um but i remember not liking the game that much when i was a kid because it would seem really just obnoxiously difficult um like you just had to sit there and grind enemies for hours or something like that and keep in mind i was not really an nes gamer there were certain things I played on the NES, like um, some Mario stuff. I remember playing uh, Double Dragon on the NES. There were a few things I played on the NES, but mostly I was a Super Nintendo guy. Because um, that was when I started getting into video games. So it was like, why would I play NES when we have the Super NES? It's available. Um, but again, that cool cover art made me start up Dragon Warrior a number of times. But I never got anywhere in the game. Um, and so that series just sort of... That was it for me. Uh, I haven't played anything else. So, that brings us to nowadays. We're going to actually play through Dragon Quest 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. We're going to go through it all. So, the first game is available on NES, SNES, Game Boy Color, and uh, mobile on phone devices. I decided to go with the Super Nintendo version, um, A, because I think it has the best graphics, that's subjective, obviously, uh, but I looked at all four versions, this is the one that appealed to me the most, um, two, it's a compilation of both games, which is true for the, everything but Nintendo, I think, uh, but it allows some sort of, uh, ubiquity equality between the two. Um, and there's a few tweaks to it. I, it just seemed like the best option for me. So this is not identical to the original NES version. There are some differences. Um, but from what I've read, I sort of like the changes that they've added. It's less grindy. Um, they've made it a little bit more balanced. Um, 
some small tweaks to like dungeon design and stuff like that. But really, you know, just like the UI design and the artwork, uh, the graphic style is, is what mostly appeals to me. All right, let's, enough talk, uh, let's just get into it. Dragon Quest 1. Oh, the other thing that appeals to me about this whole series that I'm interested in is this is a turn-based series. From the first game to the newest game, it is turn-based. Um, so they're not fucking around with it like Final Fantasy has. It's turn-based. So that's really nice. Um, but as for other like gameplay leveling, I have no idea past like the first couple games. I don't know how complicated things get. Okay. Begin a new adventure. Please spell a name. Uh, so this, of course, uh, this SNES thing, uh, does, it's not on the SNES. This never came out uh, in the West. So this is a fan translation of the Super Famicom version of 1 and 2. Um, the Game Boy Color version of 1 and 2 was officially released in the West. So if you want an official translated version of 1 and 2, um, you can go to the Game Boy Color. But fan translation does not bother me. Ah, oh, man, Descendant of the legendary warrior Roto. We've been awaiting your arrival. Long ago, the legendary warrior Roto was given the Ball of Light by the gods. With its powers, he defeated the demons that had covered this world. Then the evil King Dragon appeared. He stole the Ball of Light and sealed it away in darkness. Before long, this world may be totally enveloped and destroyed by this darkness. Hero Mang, please defeat King Dragon and return the Ball of Light by any means possible. If you open the treasure chest over there, the contents should aid you in your journey. Also, if you speak to the soldiers in this room, they can give you important information about your journey. Well then, be off, Hero Mang! Alright, and that's it. Um, 120 gold. So yeah, the story seems pretty simplistic. That's pretty much what I expect. I found a torch. And a magic key. That's pretty good. Um, so yeah, we have to do some sort of like, uh, basic kind of point and click commands here to open doors and stuff. I think the original NES version was even worse with that. Like you had to press a button to go downstairs and stuff. Like this ain't Ultima, come on. Um... Okay, if we search these pots. I am using, of course, walkthroughs, as you'd expect. Because we don't want this series to go on for three years. There, I found a medical herb. Okay, I think that's it for the castle. Not much else to do here. So we head out into the overworld. This looks very nice. Uh, the only thing is, like, the movement is not... It's not perfectly grid-based like I would expect. Uh, you can... It almost seems like you're moving between grids. I don't know. It's a minor problem. Okay. Uh, we're gonna search... See, the walkthrough tells me everywhere to search. Otherwise, I'd have to search everything, and that would be obnoxious. So we can search here. Found the Wing of the Chimera. I don't even know what that is. Oh, you can press that button to just easy search. Well, that's very good. What, what is this? What is a Wing of the Chimera? 
Is this walkthrough mention? Uh, it mentions wings. Hold on. I want now, now I'm really damn curious. I think it I think it might just bring you back to this town. To be perfectly honest. That's the only mention I see of wing. I'm gonna assume it just brings you back to this town. Uh, okay. Don't know. I don't wanna stop it. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay. So his recommendation is to purchase clothes and a club. Which sounds good to me. This is a weapon shop. Club. I'd like to equip it. Yeah. I would like uh let mm, plain clothes, I guess. Plain clothes. Good. Um Also purchased the dragon scale from the item shop. What is a dragon scale? I'm curious. Oh, it raises defense plus five. Oh, hold on. I may have read about this. I don't, I don't know. Um, the walkthrough says to do it, and so we shall do it. Here's the item shop. Dragon scale. Like, if you didn't have a walkthrough, you would have no idea what this item did. You'd have to use it, and I don't even know if you use it, I'll tell you. Put on the dragon scale. Okay, I guess it's just like a permanent plus five defense or something. Uh, sure. Okay, hold on, wait. No, hold on, oh, hold on. Oh, yeah, okay. There you go. It's an accessory. There you go. It just does not... <laughs> it does not list it anywhere. That nothing equipped in the lower left, that's shield. So nowhere does it say that you have the dragon's thing equipped except in this equip menu at the end of it. But, all right. Okay, so now, now we have to grind. Even though it's a bit less grindy uh, than the original version, you still have to grind. So we're just gonna walk back and forth near this castle and fight uh, the main mascot of Dragon Quest, which is a slime. There you go. Um, I remember that freaking slime controller. That's what I remember. I don't know what game that was for, but that thing was so weird looking. Uh, all right. Well, you know, of course we're gonna we're gonna super speed through this because that's all it's gonna be is just is <laughs> just that. So it's not that interesting. This is really where I would edit it out. But instead of editing, we have super speed. Um, so yeah, apparently these enemies are easier. 
than in the original. So in the original, you'd take you'd be taking damage. But look, we just killed a red slime in one shot. So we'd be taking damage, and we'd have to go back and heal and save and all sorts of stuff. But uh, this improves that, which is very nice. Uh, if I had had this version as a kid, I probably would have gotten much farther. So we're just trying to get to level 3, I think. So it shouldn't take too long. And we're getting some money in the process. Uh, at the last... It was either AGDQ or SGDQ. There was a really pretty boss speedrun of uh, the original NES version. I don't remember, like, specific events. It's not like I, I memorized it or anything, but I remember it being uh, very fun to watch. Because uh, the commentator was really good. The runner. Alright, so we learned heal. We're level 3. Um... It says, once you reach level 3, you can do a trick that works in the first three Dragon Quest games and the remixes. The key to this trick is the heal spell. Enter the castle. Oh, I see. I see. It's, it's not that OP of a trick, believe me. Uh, but this guy... When the Dragon of Darkness spreads its wings, it marks the arrival of the Descendant of Roto. May the light shine upon the darkness. Oh, gods! May the light shine upon the Hero of Legend May. That restores our MP. And then we can use the Heal spell. And then we can talk to him. And he'll restore our MP. And you can use the heal spell. Which we're already full, but... This doesn't, like, um... This doesn't level up anything or anything like that. It just means you don't have to spend the money to stay at the inn. Since you can just heal to recover your health and he can restore your MP. Uh, okay. Not, not that big of a deal. Alright, so to actually save the game, this was one of the weirder things when I was a kid, to actually save the game, you have to come here and talk to this king. He's the only guy that can save your game. You return. I am delighted. To reach the next level, you'll need 23 experience. Shall I record your journey in the Imperial Scrolls of Honor? It has certainly been recorded. I would like to continue my journey. That's how you save the game. Or you can just use save states, but, you know. Okay, so now we are all fit and ready to go into the first dungeon. The time has come. So, the first place is Erdrich's Cave. Uh, or in our case, it's probably going to be Roto's Cave. Uh, I guess those names kind of differ. Depending on the translation. Uh, okay, so we don't want to go into the woods, apparently. Uh, even though I guess we are in the woods. Oh, now we get just crazy high encounter rate. Of course. So, we have enough MP right now for one heal. Uh, and it's a pretty big heal, so that's really more like the boss battle heal. Uh, I think that's... That's the cave. Uh-oh. Ghost. I took a damage. I'm beating the ghost with a club. I got him. Alright. Uh... Okay. So it is dark. I think we need to use a torch. Boom. Torch. Look at this. Okay. Oh, man. Are there maps? 
Please tell me there are maps. I would be so happy. Dungeon maps. Uh. Uh. This does not correlate. Oh, Roto's Cave. Oh, yes. Oh, it's a perfect map. Oh, yeah. Awesome. It's a really basic dungeon, but now we can go straight to where we need to go. Oh, yes, maps. Oh, yes. I missed it. Because all those later Final Fantasies, we had none of that. There's none of this goodness. Look at this cool thing. I don't know what that does. Nothing. There's no chests in this dungeon, as far as I can see. It is just a path to the end. There also doesn't seem to be any encounters. So, not a particularly interesting place. But here we go. Mang reads the tombstone. A message is etched into it. Descendant, my name is Roto. Three items were necessary to cross to the Island of Evil, which can be seen from Ratatome Castle. I collected these items, crossed the island, and defeated the evil king. I then entrusted those items to three wise men in the kingdom. Their descendants protect those items and await your arrival. When an evil demon rises once again on the island, collect those items and slay the creature. The three men await your arrival somewhere in this land. Go forth, my descendant. Right. I guess that's all we needed. Let me check the walkthrough and see if I'm missing anything. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Well, there's nothing to do here, so let's just <laughs> let's just speed out of here. no threat whatsoever. I, I really am surprised there's no monsters here. That's not a dungeon. That's like an underground town with one path. Uh, okay. So now, we want to hit level 4. I don't know why we needed to hit level 3 to get here, because there's nothing in there, but, um, we can just run around and fight ghosts and stuff until we hit level 4. Uh, I don't know if I should stick with slimes. Slimes are weak, man. I am strong. Red slimes, okay. They're a drake. A drakey. That's a fan of drake, I think. They're called drakeys. Okay. Shouldn't take too long. We needed 23. Oh, there we go. Strength increased by one. Speed increased by two. Vitality increased by one. Oh, look at that big MP boost. That's nice. Now we can cast heal like three times. And we learned Fireball! Nice. Okay. Uh, apparently it's also known as the Hurt spell. But Fireball is okay. I'm gonna cast it on this dude. Watch this. Kapow! 20 damage! Good lord. Alrighty. Um, we want to purchase a couple items now, since we have more money. We want to purchase the small shield and the leather armor. We gotta keep our defense up. I assume they mean leather shield. The walkthrough seems to be using a different translation than I am, but that's okay. Um, no, I don't have enough, so hopefully I can sell. I could sell my plain clothes, but that's not going to get enough. So. I feel like we need more money. How did you get enough money for the leather armor? That's... How much more do I need? 
Like 40? I need 40 more bucks. Even if I sell my plain clothes and get half value, which we'll try. Yeah. We can just do that. Okay, I still need 30 bucks, which I feel like I'm gonna hit level five trying to get the money just to buy that, but that's fine. We can be a little overpowered, right? So we want to fight those Drakeys because those are the those are the best bet. Uh, hold on. Six gold for each one of those. That's pretty good. Four gold for red slimes. Eight gold for ghosts. Okay, that's good. We are at 76 gold. Perfect. Get out of here, slime. Shop, but we sell armor and shields. Yes, yes, yes. All right, done and done. Um, let's go recover everything using that trick. We're all about tricks. Uh, spell. Put us at 29, which probably is our max. Uh, okay. Good. And, uh, we'll go up and we'll save again. Continuing, Dad. All right, let's get out of here because we're going to the next town. All right, we are going north until we reach the sea. By gods, we'll reach the sea. Okay, we're at the sea. Uh, turn west. And all we have to do is follow the coast, and we'll get there. There it is. Oh no, red slime. So, we're leaving town, because we need to get level 5 and buy the Copper Sword, which costs 180 gold. That's absurd. How about you fight enough ghosts? You'll get it. We'll get to level 5. Remember, this game is less grindy than the original. So you can see why the original just did not appeal to me much as a kid. I, I was not as big of a fan of grinding as, uh, as I am today. Alright, we hit five, but we still need twice as much money. I don't know how this guy's getting all his money. And I didn't have super speed when I was a kid. 
so <laughs> yeah very tedious Hundred and sixty six, hundred and seventy, and seventy four, one eighty. And now we're going to have an actual weapon instead of a club. Copper sword, six extra attack. And you can buy my club, sir. It is well used. I guess I gotta save myself. Alright, whatever. Well, now we have 30 gold pieces towards the next thing. Uh, ba -ba. That's it. That's why we came to this place, was to get that sword. Because now we're going to the next town, which also sells the sword. So I don't understand, really. To reach the town of Cole. Strike out north from the castle. Okay, so they want us to go back to the castle, presumably to save, but I'm not. Alright, maybe I will. I could just save state, but we'll be legitimate. With super speed, we'll be legitimate. Oh, come on, talk to him. Alright, we are saved. Let's go to the next town. Uh, strike out north. And we'll find a path to the east. Uh, I assume that's that. Please stop slimes. Crossing a bridge. Uh, crossing another bridge. And there's a desert. I think I'm... Yeah, I'm not scared of no ghost. There! That's gotta be it. Oh, a mage! Uh-oh, fire bow! Oh, God! Terrific move! Oh, get wrecked. 16 gold. Uh, good day, this is the village of... Mara. Okay, it could be a translation problem. Uh, I'm not sure. Let me check the shop. And axe, iron armor. Yes, I think this is the town of coal, just with a different translation. Look at this, steel armor, 3,000 gold. It's crazy. Okay, so we want to... The door is locked. How dare you. To search one of these. Uh, hold on, I can just do this. Found the plain clothes. So we can just sell those. That's what we really want. Strength C. So this will. This will increase our strength by from one to six points. It's random. We have 16 strength. We got a six point boost. That would be nuts. <laughs> That's where most people would save scum, I think. But we're gonna soldier ahead. We will, uh... We will just grind where other people would save scum. 
That is that is a bummer, but that's random. Okay, so the guy said, hold on, how far am I? All right, all right. Guy says, this is just a personal preference on my part, and the full extent of this power trip is far from necessary to make it to the next town of Rimmeldar. I just like to do the full power up for safety reasons. With this level of power, little on the other side of the bridge will be more than moderately dangerous. If you go earlier, you'll have more of a challenge, but you can make it with a bit of luck. So he goes up to level 10. He goes up to level 10. He purchases the large shield and the half plate armor. Where does he buy that? Oh, he buys it in the other town. So he spends 1,800 gold pieces and he gets to level 10. Ten is more than I want to do on camera, but I would be perfectly fine doing it off camera. Um, so let's just move on. Um... Add a drink. Magic dead. Okay. Um, we'll see how we do trying to get to the next area on our own without. Oh god. Fire bow. Good. Those things are apparently really dangerous. Um, I think we need to go. through this dungeon. Hey, level six. Strength increased by four. That's a lot better than that seed. Shit, we don't have another torch. Damn. <sighs> okay. Um, okay. We'll go back to town then. If I use a map, I just prefer to see what I'm doing. Oh shit. Fire bow. Nice. 16 experience for each one of those. Okay, so let's, um. Let's stay at the inn. item shop, which is, uh... Well, that's a good question. Are you the item shop guy? No. Is this the item shop guy surrounded by poison for some reason? There should be a sword of the road left behind somewhere in this land. No, you're just a dude. Okay, well, I snuck over here. Are you the item shop guy? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna buy a medical herb, so I might need that. And I'll buy a torch. 
good. Alright, let's get out of here. Fast forwarding. So I want to get through this cave before the end of the video. Hurt. All right, let's torch it up. Good. Now I get to look at another map. The uh, the marshy cave. Yes. Yes. I don't even need a map. This is incredibly basic. There is a door here, which you can apparently open. But the walkthrough says, don't open the door in this cave, as you won't like what you run into if you do. How intriguing. But no, I won't. So it's pretty much a complete straight shot down. Uh-oh, there are enemies here. Metas. Kicked his ass. Straight shut down, and then you go around this little bump, and there's the staircase. And that's it. It's like those, uh... Those, like, tunnel passageways in Pokemon. Okay. We're gonna go south. It says, you'll see a break in the mountains that will end up being on your west as you travel south, but pass it up. Eventually you'll come to another place where the mountains taper off at west here. I kind of would feel more comfortable with a map. Here is a beautiful overworld map. Oh my god, I see everything. I can see everything. I ain't afraid of no mage. Fireball. He's hitting me for 11 damage. I got him. 31 XP. And there's the town. Very nice. Nicely done. Um. Okay, so near the item merchant, wherever he be, he be here? No, but look at this. Is this the item merchant? I'm a traveling merchant. This is an item shop. Okay, he sells everything you need. Uh, it says, in a house with a girl. Oh, that would be this. And I take her wing of the chimera. Uh, behind the two locked doors in the south. Okay, does that mean I actually have to... How does that work? Not in here. 
not over here. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What locked door? Oh, those. Yeah, how do you open locked doors? Oh, here we go. I found out how to open locked doors. We want to go to the entrance of the town and walk along the outside, which we can apparently do. Oh, yeah. This guy does not want to be found. Is that like a magic key will open any door? One key is only 16 gold. I'd like to buy another one. Thank you. Um, apparently, these are a lot cheaper than they were originally. So that's good. Uh, so now we can get in there, and it's got something good. I mean, it's a red chest. It's got to be good. Oh, got anything to say? When rain and sun meet, a rainbow bridge will be made. That is an ancient legend passed down here in Olifgard. Also, I heard a story of the stones of sunlight sleep within Ratatone Castle. Great, I'm here for your shit. Nut of life! Oh! So we're gonna use this. Maximum HP increased by four. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, and he suggests hanging around, fighting stuff until you get the broadsword, which is 1,500 gold pieces. So between that and the 1,800 from the other shit, <sighs> means I've got a lot of grinding to do. Oh, okay. That's good. Uh, alrighty then. That's where I'll end it. So we are well on our way. Um... <laughs> I wonder what level you he finishes on. Fifteen? No, it can't be fifteen. Twenty. Twenty. He heads into the final dungeon at level twenty. Uh, okay. So yeah, again, it's not a massive game. This is just a, a little RPG to get things started. But I've got some work cut out for me. My name is Mang. Game you're watching has been Dragon Quest. And I'll see you fine folks in the next part.